So I grabbed two pieces from the Coach Outlets Reserve Drop last week, and the second piece arrived yesterday. So if you want to see what these two items are, just keep watching. Hey, my name is Dre and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Over here, we talk about luxury and contemporary handbags and accessories, lifestyle, and just staying fly on a budget. So if those are things that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But let's get into these two packages. So I ordered two things from the Coach Outlets Reserve Drop. And I was tempted to get a third, but I decided not to get it because I didn't need it. But guys... I don't know if you were aware, but last week they actually had a couple of rogues in the reserve drop. And I was actually looking at the Rogue 25 in the jacquard print with the, um, it had the yellow handles. I just think that is just the cutest rogue. And I came so close to getting it because I think it was only like maybe 270 But I know I didn't need that bag. Um, it's not on the list. And it, it was just, I couldn't justify getting it simply because it was on sale. So I stuck with the two pieces that I actually needed. So we're going to start with the smaller one first. Um, this is actually going to pair as an SLG. I'm not going to use it as it's intended. I'm not going to use it for what it was intended for. Let's just say that. It did come in an envelope. I already took it out of the envelope because I wanted to kind of just make sure it wasn't smashed in because I knew it would be a while before I opened it all the way and I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't damaged so that if it was I wouldn't wait too long to try to return it but anyway the first piece I grabbed was the banded uh card case belt bag card case so I don't have any intentions of ever using this as a belt bag. Um, I've just been wanting a banded card case and I've had such a difficult time finding one in the color that I want. And then they're so expensive. So when the card case belt bag went on sale at the outlet and it was like $70, I went on ahead and grabbed it. So I got black. We can get it in, get into it. So if you guys can see what this looks like, so you'll see when you open it up, it does have the silver hardware. It says genuine full grain leather right there on the inside. This is leather lined. Yep, just like the bag itself, everything is completely lined in leather. Let me get the stuffing out of here so we can get a closer look at it. So there are literally like four compartments almost five so you've got one here that's the second compartment then you've got a little card slot here i guess you could call that the third and then this would be like the fourth so there's like four little compartments in here so this card case is large enough to carry ids cards um maybe even a little change so it's the snap closure the back part has the little hooks or attachments for the actual belt. But again, I will probably never wear this as a belt bag because it's just too tiny. Um, and I'm all for tiny bags, but not if it won't fit my phone. I don't want to wear anything that's going to require me to hold my phone in my hand or put it in my pocket. So wearing this as a belt bag is out for me it won't fit my phone or my keys but I just thought this was adorable and would be a really really nice SLG to pair actually with my um my Rebel so I think I'm gonna use it in the Rebel 24 so that's why I bought it but here is the belt piece that goes with it I might actually just wear the belt as a belt you know um you can never have enough black belts and this is a thin black belt so I could use this but y'all know this um card case has the 1941 or what appear what looks like the 1941 hang tags with the metal cap and um horse and carriage 
really smooth leather beautiful little piece i'm glad i got it and she'll fit perfectly in my rebel 24. this is something that was not on my radar well it was kind of on my radar but not really i needed a, a tiny black bag like something that could be casual or dressy if need be and so when i saw this on sale again on the reserve i went on ahead and got it so um this is a top handle can y'all guess what it is This came from the outlet in Ontario, uh, California, East Mill Circle Outlet. And I'm glad that they had enough decency to put it in a box. Because this is definitely not something that you would want it to be shipped to you in an envelope. Oh, wow. And they wrapped it up really nice. They even put tissue paper in the bottom. So yeah, this is really nice and it's still in its factory wrapping. So what I was able to grab from the outlet's reserve drop was the mini cash and tote in the color black. So guys, I thought this would just be a perfect little bag to wear, you know, in the evening times, you know, for dinners, um, date nights, just something. And it reminds me so much of Louis Vuitton sack plaid and the little Prada bag. Um, I mean, the silhouettes are identical. This just happens to be a lot less expensive and it's made by Coach. And because it's made by Coach, it's all leather and not coated canvas with leather trim. So that in itself to me made it worth it. But the fact that it was on sale um, for more than half of the retail price was the thing that really made me get it. And then I'm not going to lie, I was watching Caleb Snell and I watched um, a review. He actually has this particular piece in a different color. And I was watching his review on the mini cash and, and it just made me go ahead and pull the trigger on it. So here she is. I'm trying to get all of this paper off so we can see what each piece looks like. But they really wrapped this well. So just bear with me, guys. So it looks like she has five adjustments on the shoulder strap or the crossbody strap, I should say. And of course, the crossbody strap is detachable, but it's adjustable. It has five um, adjustments on it. This little bag does have feet on the bottom. And if you can see, I had to turn it the other way. It does say original glove tan leather on the bottom here. The stitching on this bag appears to be black or charcoal gray. Um, so it's definitely giving that monochromatic look. You can see the stitching, but it doesn't really pop out. So we get on the inside of this bag, get all the stuffing out. And they definitely put a lot of stuffing in here. Let me get the dust bag set it to the side so we don't lose it. Even the inside is stuffed. Like, yeah, guys, this bag is brand spanking new. Like, it even had these little things inside. So, yeah, this was definitely a brand new bag. This was not a return, any of that. This bag has never been touched before. But we get on the inside of here. You can see it's that um, woven fabric lining that's almost like gingham or linen or something. And then you've got um, just a little card slot on the back wall. And then, well, actually, that's the front wall. And then the back wall has the coach um, story patch. So, nothing real complicated about the inside. It's just one little hole. This closure is magnetic. So, this little tab here, it just literally just fits on the inside of there and you've got your two little top handles here so here it is guys the mini cash and tote and the bandit belt bag card case these are the two items that i grabbed from the reserve drop last week i think i got a great deal on both of them and both of these items are things that i actually need and will work well 
um, in my collection and in my wardrobe. And I'm sure that I'll get plenty of use out of these things. So please comment down below if you have either of these items in your collection. Let me know what you think about them. And thank you again for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting on? And don't forget to hit the notification bells for future updates. And until the next time we see each other, take care of yourselves. Bye. Thank you.